Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Camille from Pareto Education and today we will cover syncope. Syncope is a loss of consciousness and is commonly known as a faint. They can be considered benign as a one-off, but you must rule out any serious underlying pathology. The patient loses awareness of his or her surroundings, loses muscle tone and faints or collapses. The two main systems involved in this are the cardiovascular system and the neurological system. Serious causes can include myocardial infarction, pulmonary embolism, cardiac arrhythmia and epilepsy. To take an effective history, you must establish the timeline of events. What happened immediately preceding the syncopal episode, during the syncopal episode and post the syncopal episode. For instance, did they have any chest pain, palpitations, did they have any sudden shock or bad news, did they have any trauma and Post the episode, did they awake confused in a post ictal state? This can give you clues as to the cause of the syncope. You must also inquire about red flags, such as trauma to the head, drug use, alcohol use, and constitutional symptoms, such as weight loss and loss of appetite. Consider also neurological symptoms, such as weakness. If you have diagnosed a syncopal episode, you must safety net the patient. Inform them if they have another episode where they have jerking body movements, tongue biting, or loss of continent. So that's all, and let's have an example. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Camille, and I'm one of the clinicians here at the practice. Can I begin by taking your full name and date of birth, please? My name is Jack Smith, and I'm 78 years old. Okay, nice to meet you, Mr. Smith. Nice to meet you too. So, Mr. Smith, I've been told that you've come in with a complaint of some fainting episodes, is that right? Yes, I fainted yesterday, and I'm a little bit worried about why that happened. Okay, so we can definitely explore that with yourself and you've come to the right place to investigate that further as well. And hopefully by the end of this, we should be a bit clearer about why that's happening. Okay. So tell me a little bit more about this. Is this the first time this has happened? It's the first time that it's ever happened. Okay. I was asleep actually, and uh, it was early hours of the morning. Okay. And I had this sudden urge of wanting to go to the toilet. So I got myself up and then I started walking and I was fine. I got to the bathroom sink rather, and I started to feel really, really dizzy and just started to sweat, feel very unwell. And then I don't really remember what happened. Okay. Um, and lo and behold, my wife woke up and she found me on the floor. Okay. And I immediately booked in to see somebody and you know, now I'm here. Right, well, I think you've done the right thing. Firstly, can I ask, did you have any injury associated with that fall? No, no, you know, thank God, I, I feel all right. So no cuts, bruises, anything like that? Nothing. Okay. How long do you think that episode between you getting up out of bed to the bathroom sink, how long would that, is it a long distance, is it a short distance? Um, it's not really that long. No. I have to come out of the room, go into the hallway, and the bathroom is at the end of the hallway. Okay. And so, so you know, not too long. And how, been, this happened yesterday, you say, or this morning? Early hours of the morning. Today, okay. Mm. And how have you been feeling sort of yesterday, today, in general, in the morning, um, in yourself? I, I've been feeling all right. Okay. Um, is there any particular... What no, you just things on? like, you know, I've been feeling feverish or under the weather, anything like that? Not particularly. No. Um, no, no fever at all. I've been feeling all right. You've been feeling your normal self? Better than most days, actually. Okay, that's good. And so... While this was happening, did you have any inclination that this was going to happen? I mean, did you have experience any flashing lights? Um, you said you experienced some dizziness, but anything more than that, like a headache or um, anything else? Not really. No, no flashing lights and no headaches for sure. Okay. And in the preceding days, you haven't had any sort of head trauma, anything like that? You're not hurt No, yourself? Okay. no, definitely Great. not. And while this is happening, you know, obviously you can't tell me exactly what happened during it or can you remember at all? I don't remember anything, if okay. I'm going to be honest with you. During that period that you were fainted? During that period. But my wife was around, so okay. she did tell me some information. Okay, so what kind of happened during that period? So, I mean, she heard a loud bang. Mm. Um, and I, I suppose that that was me falling to the ground. Okay. And she tried to call out to me. And I do remember seeing her in front of me, although things were a little bit hazy. Yeah. And she, she kept shouting my name and I managed to respond eventually. Okay. And in terms of your wife, how long did she say this episode lasted? Well, she said it was a few seconds. Okay. And 
while this is happening, did you have any other symptoms? Did you have any, for example, any feeling jerkiness of your body? Not that she reported. Okay. Any sort of, you know, loss of continence, for example? I know it's quite embarrassing to say. No, not, not particularly. No. Okay. No. And did you experience anything other than that? So, for example, anything more serious or, you know, some people say tongue biting? Uh, no tongue biting. Did she say your eyes roll back to the back of your head, anything like that? No, no, God, no, no nothing okay. like that. All right, so these are very important questions and I'll explain later why I've asked them and why it's important to differentiate between a few causes that can be responsible for these symptoms. Right. So tell me, you know, since this is, you know, you've got up, you've walked to the toilet, this happened, you felt a bit dizzy, and then you've fallen. Did you sort of lower yourself to the ground? Did you feel like you were going to fall? So some people, you know, crouch down or sit down, or did you just go from standing? I think I went from standing. All right, okay. Which makes me even more worried. Mm, exactly, yeah. So I'll do a quick examination of, of, of your head and neck in particular, maybe your back as well, and possibly your hips, just at the end, just to see if everything's okay. Mm. Just because obviously you've had that a bit of a fall. No, right? thank you, I appreciate that. Okay. Mm. And after this, so this few seconds, you know, your haziness, you remember your wife being there, what happened in the immediate aftermath? Well, from, you know, she, she tried to get me up. She said I was a little bit confused. I guess you would be in that situation. Yeah. And, um, but within a few seconds, I was back to my normal self. Okay. And since then, you've not had anything like this happen again? No, no, I haven't. Okay. It's the first time and so far the only time. Okay. And you, it's clear that say, you've never had this before. Or it doesn't run in the family or anything like that? No, definitely not. Okay. All right. So let me just ask you, so you said you've been feeling particularly well, anything like that. Have you taken any new medications recently? Anything new that you've done? Any activity? Anything like that? new bed height, anything out of the ordinary? Well, I've recently started a new tablet for blood pressure. Okay. I think it's called Ramipril. Okay. Because the doctor said that my blood pressure was quite high. Okay. So uh, he started me on this medication. All right. And how long has that been so the case? Not long, probably about a week and a half. Okay. And you're taking that quite diligently, are you? I am, yeah. I okay. take it, I take it, you know, daily. Okay. All right. So moving on to that aspect, have you got any other sort of medical history, uh, otherwise what other conditions do you have? Just high blood pressure, I suppose. All right. Any other heart issues, such as coronary syndrome, for example, angina, any previous heart attacks? Not really. So you've got high blood pressure, is that mm. right? Okay. Any breathing problems, COPD, asthma? Not particularly. Okay. And do you have any sort of neurological problems, such as, you know, dizziness in the past, migraines, this kind of thing? Any no. Anything to do with the brain? I've been all right. Okay, so in your full medical history, it's only really hypertension that's been diagnosed recently. That's correct. And you take a, a medication called Ramipril. That's right. And is that the only medication you take? So far, the only. All right, and what's the dose of that, if you don't mind me asking? The five milligrams. Okay, so it's quite an quite introductory dose yeah. for that. And how high was your blood pressure? Do you, do you know how high? Oh, it was? yeah, it was, it was high. It was probably okay. about 170 for the top number. All right. The bottom number, I forget. Okay. And have you got any allergies, anything like that, that I must be aware of? I've been all right. Okay. No allergies that I know. Okay. And what about in terms of more of a little bit about how your living situation is? Mm -hmm. Do you live, you say you live with your wife. Do you live with anybody else? Just my wife. Okay. And are you able to go about your normal activities okay? I'm normally all right, yeah. but keen gardener. Yeah. Um, I like to keep, keep active. All right. And in terms of working, are you still working or retired or? I'm retired. Okay. <laughs> and what, what did you do for, for work, if you don't mind me asking? I was a joiner. Okay. So Brilliant. always quite active with my yeah. hands and my yeah. feet. So we ask these questions to everyone. Do you, do you smoke at all? No. Any alcohol intake? Sometimes, but okay. not too much. Right. And did you have anything at all during the night before? Or no, or no, no. Clean. Okay. And we must ask this, uh, we ask this of everyone. Have you any partaken in any recreational drugs recently? Mm. Anything else that's... No. No. Okay. And I know I've asked this before, but just a bit more in detail. Is there anyone in your immediate family history, for example, parents, siblings, that suffer with any sort of neurological symptoms or neurological diagnoses that they have? Not particularly. Not so if particularly. I was to explain that more clearly, yeah. those neurological symptoms, that's quite a mouthful. So do they have dizziness, any sort of loss of consciousness, faints? Um, do they have any sort of epilepsy in the family? No, none Anything of that. Anything like that? No. Okay, brilliant. So. 
So what's going on with me? So I think based on what you're saying, I'd like to do a few tests just okay. to confirm what's going on exactly. And from what you're describing, it sounds like a syncopal episode or syncope, mm. which in common, common terms is like a faint. Mm. Um, can be due to a couple of causes and really is to do with uh, sort of a slow or interrupted blood supply to the brain and this can happen due to a variety of things. Right, that sounds quite um, concerning. Yeah, it can, sound, can, can, can sound quite scary, but it's very, very brief, uh, we call it transient, which means very, very brief, so right. it's very, very short-lived. So that's why you experience, obviously, a few seconds of this. Mm. I guess that's um, why I feel all right now. Yeah, I mean, that, that's also indicative of it being a syncopal episode. Mm. Um, and it's mainly related to things like if you've got a fever, anything like that with an infection, that can cause a syncope. Um, you know, high stress environment, that can cause a syncopal episode, so mm. people often faint. You know, being in certain positions can also cause syncope. Mm. So for, for yourself, it looks like, you know, that position change possibly from a lying position to standing straight. Has that ever caused sort of vertical symptoms or dizziness in the past? No, it's the first time it's happened. Okay. Although, you know, I do feel a little bit more, since it's starting my blood pressure tablet, I feel a little bit more lightheaded. Yeah. Now that I think about it. So this can also be a, related to a side effect of the medication. Possibly the medication you're taking at the moment, although it's treating you for your high blood pressure, potentially it could be reducing your blood pressure a bit too much. Okay. Um, you know, beyond what's, what your body is requiring to maintain adequate flow mm. to your brain as well. So that's pot potentially a, a reason for this syncopal episode. Right. So let's do some tests, tell you about, you know, a few things in order to keep yourself safe for the next couple mm -hmm. of days as well. So, you know, if this was to happen again, you know, if you're feeling dizzy, the best thing to do is sort of lower yourself to the ground before right. you fall. So that would uh, obviously reduce the height of the fall as well and reduce the risk. Fine. So if you feel that happening, just sort of lower yourself and potentially sit on the sit on the floor or sit against a wall, anything like that, that would help. Anything else than that, if this syncopal episode lasts a longer time, mm. uh, you know, and inform your wife that if it lasts more than a few seconds, anything like that, if you're not able to rouse uh, from that or you have any of the other symptoms we discussed earlier, loss of consciousness, yes. the rigidity in the, in the limbs, yes. any tongue biting, anything like that. Yes. Although I'm not suspecting this will happen, mm. okay? Good. And if the episode's ongoing a lot, then potentially we'll look at the medication in terms of maybe changing the dosages or anything like that. Brilliant. Okay? Brilliant. So does that, is that clear, sort of a, a fainting episode related to a posture change, possibly underpinned by your recent medication? Okay. No, that's, that's very clear and I yeah. really appreciate the, the, the extent of which you've gone through this. Okay. Yep. Is that clear, everything what I've said today? That's definitely clear. Yeah. Any other uh, concerns or any other questions you had for me? Not really. I think you've really, you know, you've helped me understand a little bit more about what's going on. So I, I appreciate that. All right. Thank you very much. No problems. Thank you.